you have most definitely heard about different types of accounting, financial accounting, managerial, tax accounting, etc. Well, this is not all that there is to accounting and financial reporting today. As the proportion of intangible assets, or so-called soft assets, in companies' valuation has increased significantly in the past decades, so did the need to better understand and account for non-financial, long-term value drivers. Sustainability issues are increasingly considered by investors as drivers of the long-term returns and long-term risks. The need to have relevant, decision-useful, financially material and comparable information on sustainability issues has led to the creation and codification of the Sustainability Accounting Standards by SASB, or the Sustainability Accounting Standards Board. If you have not yet been exposed to the sustainable finance field, you probably think that this would only concern philanthropic organizations or companies that have committed to be so-called green. Well, this is not the case. What makes sustainability accounting standards unique is their focus on industry specificity and financial materiality, concepts that are important for investors and businesses around the world. These standards do cover specific environmental, social, and governance, or ESG topics. However, they do so from perspective of business risk and opportunity that ties into financial performance and not from ethical or moral perspectives. Sustainability accounting standards identify specific non-financial issues that tie into companies' costs, revenues, growth potential, cost of capital, and assets and liabilities. For each sector of activity, SASB standards provide specific accounting metrics to account for financially material ESG factors. SASB supporters include leading asset owners and asset managers, and the reason behind is to have a greater transparency on useful information that they can integrate into their investment decision process. 